In order to protect crops against pests and diseases, farmers use plant protection products, especially in vineyards. Grapes alone account for 38% of the total volume of pesticides used in Europe. To reduce the use of chemical pesticides, within the European research project PURE, scientists are looking for practical integrated pest management solutions. At the Fondazione Edmund Mack in San Michele Aladaja in northern Italy, Ilaria Perto and her team are trying to reduce the high pesticide rate in grapevines. Most probably we cannot get rid of pesticide in, 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 the, in the coming decades, but for sure we can strongly reduce them by integrating different approaches. Having an alternative to chemicals doesn't mean that the method should be less effective. And a, a clear example is methane disruption is even more effective than a chemical pesticide. The European grapeberry moth, one of the major pests of cultivated grapes, use pheromones to find their mating partner. A small dispenser applied to the vineyard releases an excessive dispersion of female pheromones. The olfactory sense of the male is confused. The result, the insects don't mate, and so there's no offspring. Researchers have now also found a way to interfere with the mating communication of this cocada, which transmits a dangerous grapevine disease. A specific vibrational sound interferes with the mating, and could in future stop them from spreading the disease. Right now, the researchers start the evaluation of their new methods under commercial conditions at local farms. Their final target is one day to reach zero pesticides on our crops. The benefits to society from nature can also be found in semi-natural habitats. In central Italy near Pisa, researchers of the European research project Kessa are trying to find out how natural areas surrounding mass flowering fields could help farmers increase their harvest. In field trials with sunflowers, Camilla Moonen and her team are especially interested in what way natural pollinators contribute to crop pollination. We need to uh, monitor who is pollinating sunflowers, so we do observations on the sunflower heads and um, register which natural pollinators and bees are um, pollinating the crop. And we have bagged plants. That, that means that the natural pollinators and the bees are excluded from uh, access to the sunflower head. And we have um, another um, control where we uh, bring manually the pollen onto the sunflower head in order to maximize pollination. Once the sunflowers are harvested, the researchers control the number of seeds produced, the oil content and its quality. The researchers hope that maximizing the pollination level will lead to a higher yield quality. These field trials have shown that agriculture can still learn from nature by adapting new environmentally friendly and effective alternatives to traditional pest controls and pollination.